in this video, I'm gonna show you how to transform that lemonade stand into a full blown concession stand or mini restaurant under a tent or in a trailer, whatever you're selling your lemonades out of, I can show you how to propel that to a whole nother level. This is Mike, the Caesar of concessions. If you're selling lemonade and kettle corn and you're, you know, you really want to make more money uh, and propel your business to astronomical levels, I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to transform this business totally for you today. And we're going to start off with the equipment and the food products that I think you should be selling along with your lemonades or your lemonades and your kettle corn whatever you're doing these products and equipment are what i started out with and have grown since then have bought better equipment and, and, and a myriad of, of different products but this is how i started out and this is what i would recommend to people okay if you stay around for the whole video i'm going to throw in some bonus food items and bonus equipment that'll even take it further. But I gotta save those till the end, baby, so you'll watch it. Okay, the first piece of equipment you're going to need to buy is a microwave. It could be a really small microwave. The, the size is irrelevant. I would go with a small microwave. The purpose of the microwave is to cook Bavarian pretzels. They only need like 30, 30 seconds if they're thawed and a minute if you kept them frozen. Pretzels are fantastic and you virtually take no labor and you can sell them all year long and go great with lemonades. So a microwave should be the first thing you purchase to sell your pretzels and heat up other items as you go along in your business. Gotta have a microwave, okay? The next item you really got to have is a turkey roaster. You know, they're, they're really inexpensive. They could be $25 to $50. And what you're going to do is fill that turkey roaster up with water. And you're just using that turkey roaster as a heating agent. And you're going to put your cans, your number 10 cans of nacho cheese in there to get them heated up. And if you want caramel for like uh, caramel, if you wanna do caramel pretzels, right? A caramel dip rather. For your pretzels, you're gonna want that turkey roaster just for that purpose alone, okay? The next thing, oh, you're gonna need silver trays um, just in case you wanna put hot dogs on there and steam them that way if you wanna save yourself some more money but we'll get uh, how to do hot dogs here in a little bit. The next thing you really are going to need is a three compartment crock pot. They have these crock pots that have three different compartments within them. You're gonna want that because you're gonna pour your nacho cheese into one compartment so you can put that with your pretzels or if you decide to do pretzels and nachos like I did, now you can do two items, right? Nachos and pretzels and pour that nacho cheese, you know, into containers that you have from your three bin crock pot. The next thing you're gonna wanna put in that three bin crock pot is chili because you can put chili on hot dogs and on nachos and make chili cheese nachos and really, really boost your profit potential. Raise that price and just kill it. Second compartment is going to be for chili. Your third compartment, you can do barbecue beef and you can buy it already pre-cooked. You can buy it from someone who, who smokes uh, briskets or or things like that and put that in there or you can buy it from Sam's Club Costco which is already pre-made and put that in your other if you didn't want to do barbecue beef or pulled, pulled pork rather you could put that uh, other canister or the other crock rather 
with nacho cheese. So you have two nacho cheese going at the same time. I am so sorry about the cicadas in the background, but it is beautiful here in Kansas City. And I wanted to sit on the deck uh, for this video. So sorry for that. I would really appreciate a sub and a like uh, for the channel. Motivates me to continue to do videos. As you know, I'm not making anything. I don't, on these YouTube videos, I don't have enough watch hours to even come close to making anything, right? I'm making these for you, my friends. Now, on to the next two things you're going to need, plus bonus items you're going to need to turn your lemonade stand into a full-blown restaurant or concession stand. A hot dog and hot dog bun steamer. You can buy these for like a hundred bucks online and I would highly recommend you do. They store about a hundred buns and about 50 hot dogs and there you go. You're serving hot dogs now and you could put chili and you could put nacho cheese on top of them and, and, and they sell amazingly well. And it's a very low cost to you and, and you can just push hot dogs along with your lemonade, your kettle corn, your nachos, your pretzels, and just really kill it with this equipment. Now check this out. I saved this one for last because this one really put me over the edge. Okay. I, I bought a cheap, small propane grill right guess like you would use in your backyard i bought one of those and i started cooking hamburgers and bratwurst on that and oh man let me tell you cooking that outside of my tent and putting that smell out there for everyone pushed me to levels i never thought i could achieve just selling lemonade and kettle corn the smell of those hamburgers and the hot dogs and, and bratwurst going through the crowd was absolutely amazing. Now, if you've noticed, these products I've listed so far, they all work together. The equipment coincides with multiple products, right? We're, we're cooking hot hamburgers and hot dogs or bratwurst but you can still put chili on a hot, on a hamburger. And people with nacho cheese, people will absolutely buy it. Now, I know it sounds a little off the wall, but chili cheese hamburgers sell really well. And I haven't seen too many people selling them. And so you have a unique menu option, along with just regular hamburgers and hot dogs if you didn't want to do that. or or cheeseburgers and hamburgers if you didn't want to do the the chili on top of your hamburgers um you can cook bratwurst on there so now you have bratwurst you have cheeseburgers you have hamburgers you have nachos you have pretzels you have lemonade and honestly you can do this with two people three is better because the volume will, will be nuts but two you can do it with two just fine the guys and gals that are working with you just gotta be a little bit flexible and be able to have a strong work ethic to go back and forth and do a couple different items now some bonus items and i've mentioned these before but i really think it's important selling boxes of candy bars out front your m m's your snickers whatever have that on your out there on your table they take no labor pre-packaged cotton candy takes absolutely no excuse me labor whatsoever stack those out there on your on your uh, table rather or into your window if you have a trailer and sell those in addition to all these other products now honestly instead of making 500 to a grand selling lemonades you know at an event now you're looking at making you know three to four grand at an event maybe five grand at an event just by adding these items and turning a simple lemonade stand 
into a full-blown concession stand. The equipment is cheap, highly affordable, and really zero risk. Once you start doing this, you will see how fast this food moves and it'll pay for itself after one event. I can, I don't want to guarantee you that because you can get in some kind of crazy event where there's like 20 people there. But if you do any kind of fair festival, anything like that, you will absolutely kill it. This is Mike, the Caesar of concessions out.